Well, kids, we're reaching the end of another super dark and gloomy month of November here in the rolling hills of East Tennessee, so it seems like a pretty appropriate time to learn a little bit of Dirge for November Biopath. Well, hey there, kids, and welcome to a brand new installment, Weekend Wake Shop, here with your best buddy, Uncle Ben. You guys have been asking me to cover some classic Opeth here on my channel for quite some time now, so I figure it's just so doggone seasonally appropriate for us to talk about the ending section of Dirge for November off of the incredible Black Water Park record, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. And as always, you guys can find a full tab for this week's lesson over on my Instagram page at Ben Eller Guitars. You can search for the hashtag WeekendWankShop207, find the tabs, learn how to play it, then upload a video of yourself jamming through it, along with the hashtag WeekendWankShop. So first things first, tone-wise, you're going to want to use an extremely beautiful, well-crafted guitar, like this Sir Alt T, using the neck humbucker. You can also roll down the tone knob just a little bit if you want that super dark, fat tone like they have on the album. Now, effects-wise, I've got a pretty generous amount of beautiful reverb and delay coming from my Kemper profiler back here. That's all the effects I'm using. I always have people ask what effects I'm using. It's all coming from the Kemper. And I have a delay on here that's offering a little bit of an octave up kind of shimmer. You can hear it especially on those high notes. How it kind of whispers those beautiful angelic octaves on there. So if you have access to something like that, Slap that stuff on. This is kind of in two sections and it's going to be played finger style. So this is going to begin with an A minor chord, but it's not a cowboy chord A minor. It's played like this right here. Open A, 2D, 5G. Just those three strings. It's an A minor triad. Now I'm going to describe the plucking patterns here as accurately as I can, but just keep in mind it's kind of approximate. You know, you'll hear on the record and live, he kind of pushes and pulls a little bit. So. Don't really worry about it if you add or subtract a note here and there. On the A minor part, it's gonna sound like this. So that's me hitting all three of the strings, A, D, and G. Just the D and G. Just the A. Just the D and G two times. And then just the D. Okay, so all three. High, low, high, high. Then just the D, okay? And then you gotta play this cool thing on kind of an F major 7 sharp 11 sound. So this is me opening up here with the open low E, hammering onto one, then hit the open D and hammer to two, second G, B open, high E open, B open, G2 again, and then an open D. I don't think that open D is really part of the chord melodically, it's just kind of where his hands transition to the next part, but. There you go. So you got your E with the hammer, your D with the hammer, and then some arpeggiating here, and then that open D. Next section here is based on E minor, and it sounds like this. And he's kind of changed the way he plays this live over the years, but I'm playing what sounds like it's accurate to the record right here. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So what you're going to do is to play the open low E, the 7th A, and the 5th D. Then move the first finger down a fret onto the fourth fret D, and you're gonna pluck that seventh A and fourth D at the same time. Then play the open D string, okay? So it's three moves. Now live, it seems like now he plays something like this. 
Maybe it's just because it's a little bit easier to play. I got no idea. But it sounds like live he's playing the fifth D in open G with the low E. Moving that D string down a fret. Then playing both those strings open. But it sounds to me on the record like you can hear that he's definitely fretting the seventh fret A string. You can hear his finger squeak when he goes down to that position. And you can hear that major second interval right there between those two notes. So again, it sounds like on the record he plays it one way, live he plays it another. Who knows why. Next part is this. So this is me hitting the open A, third D, fourth G. Then I'm going to move that G string up a fret. Feels like a power chord now. Hit the D and G. Open A. Then this little F dyad right here. That's the third D and second G. Okay, so that's all three. Just the high ones. Just the bass. And just the high notes. And that's all there is to that first section right there. So you got the A minor stuff. F with the hammer-ons, E minor stuff, and then that last section we just talked about, it's kind of an F sound again. He always plays that first section like four times in a row before we move on to the second section here which starts off with kind of an F minor sound that I really, really like. Now what he's doing is this right here. Now this is me playing the 3rd A, 3rd D, and 1st G, okay? And we gotta hit all three of those notes. Just the D and G. Just the bass note, the 3rd A. And then take your first finger off of the chord. Hit the D and G. Okay, so you play this now. And then play that A string one more time. So it's all high, low, high, high, low, picking pattern wise. And then after this, we go to something that's basically centered around a G. Now this is just me playing my middle finger on the second A, along with the open D and G. Then play the D and G, just the A string, and then just the third fret low E. Okay, so that's so now we have this. Then we have this section. So this is kind of a D flat major seven. I'm gonna be playing the A4, G5, and B6. You gonna pluck those, then just the high notes, and then this little C dyad. This is just the third A and second D. Just like that. I could have sworn for the longest time that that chord right there also had the G string in it, like that. But I think that's just my imagination. I think he just plays the bottom notes. Then we have one more little part here at the end. Now this is a typical cowboy chord A minor. 2D, 2G, 1B, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're going to roll through that with the right hand. We're going to play thumb, index, middle, ring on the A, D, G, B respectively. So just kind of rip through those fingers, through that A minor chord. Then do a pull off to open, okay? Then the open B string again. He might only be playing these three. He might not have that second fret D string in there. I won't swear to that. Because he's, he's using a lot of like two and three string, you know, chords in this. But, I'm just not sure. Okay, so you're gonna do your little roll, your pull off, your B, an open low E, before you land on this A flat major seven. Now this is gonna be the fourth low E, the fifth D, and fifth G. And again, he's got that little ghost note low E right before it like that, which sounds really cool. So the entire second section here is starting off with the F minor stuff. flat major 7, C, A minor, and A flat major 7. So cool. And it just starts over.
And he's always got to play that second section there two times in a row before returning back to the first section for another four repetitions. another episode of Weekend Wank Shump Down the Tubes. I really enjoyed that one. It's such a cool chord progression and I love Michael's finger style playing and chord choices and stuff all over records like Blackwater Park and Ghost Reveries and all that stuff. Love that band. Let me know in the comments below what other classic Opeth tunes, riffs, or solos you'd like to see broken down on future installments of Weekend Wank Shump. Thanks again for watching. You guys be sure to like this video and subscribe for new lessons every single week. Follow me on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars or over on Facebook at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And if you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. Thanks again so much for watching. Now get away from this computer and go play guitar. You know what to do. Less clicking, more picking.